is Jesus Christ now. For us, the New Testament believers, the Christians, the people of God today, the pattern is no more a kind of tabernacle they saw there, a kind of sanctuary they built in the wilderness. It's not a kind of temple that Solomon built. Now it's Jesus Christ that has become the perfect example, the perfect pattern for us. And it says, see. That you make everything according to this pattern, the pattern of the Lord Jesus Christ. What are the features of this new life in Christ? When you come to Christ, you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. And the Lord says, I want to dwell in you. I want to live in you. I want you to be my sanctuary, my temple. I want you to be the one that I will dwell in and then I will express my glory, my majesty through you. What pattern are you going to follow in building such a temple, such a sanctuary, and such a habitation for the almighty God? The pattern is Jesus Christ. Everybody say Jesus. That's the pattern. And therefore, you're asking yourself every time, in whatever situation you find yourself, the features of that divine pattern is Jesus Christ. What will Jesus do? What will Jesus say? Where will Jesus go? How will Jesus relate to people? How will Jesus respond to people? How will Jesus react to people? Jesus becomes your pattern. Now, we're going to look at this in John chapter 13. John chapter 13 i'm reading from verse 15 john 13 15 for i have given you an example that you should do as i have done to you i have given you an example i'm your pattern I'm your example. I'm your perfect portrait and model. Therefore, you will do as I have done unto you. Look at verse 34. A new commandment I give unto you, that ye should, that ye love one another. The next words. As I as i have you ever thought about that you know sometimes you think i think i'm doing too much i think i'm loving to people too much I, they're going to take me for granted when i love them and love them and love them like this but you're not measuring the pattern you're not looking at the pattern you're not focusing your mind on the pattern when you focus your mind on the pattern you'll never think i'm sacrificing too much i'm going too far i'm yielding to the needs of the people too much I I think I'm, I'm going to just sell away myself this way and it'll suck me up like honey. Look at Jesus and look at what he did. Look at the pattern. And look at the way he gave himself and sacrificed himself. And he said, this is my commandment unto you. The features of the new life in Christ, we see the characteristics is that of love. And he said, as I have loved you, that ye also love one another. I'm looking at John chapter 15 verse 12. Christ is our pattern. Christ is a model. Christ is the one that lived that life and we saw him on the mount and now he says as you go back home and you relate with one another you are going to build your life you are going to build a sanctuary according to the pattern which I have shown you on the mount. In John chapter 15 verse 12 this is my commandment did you say this is my suggestion? You know the people, how the people take the word of God. Sometimes it's like, you know, well, they, they give us an advice. That's a good advice. If I'm able to follow, I'll follow. And some people say, that was a good suggestion, you know. That was a good opinion. You know, that preacher just came on here, and I, I love him. You know, he just expressed himself. If I were there to express myself, no. Jesus never gave suggestion. Jesus never expressed opinion. The Almighty God said, This is my beloved son. Hear ye him. Anything you hear here, we'll read it to you from the word of God. This is not suggestion. This is not a personal opinion. It's not even a denominational opinion. This is the word of the Almighty God. And we're going to live by it. I said we'll live by it. He said, this is my commandment, that she love one another, the next words, as I. It's a pattern. 
And if you're going to live the new life in Christ, you're not looking at Abraham and excusing yourself, but Abraham did this and so what? You're not looking at David and then you're saying David did this and so what? You're not even looking at Peter and saying, but Peter did this and so what? That's not the pattern. It's brought us to the mount here. And it's showing us, it says this is the divine pattern that you will do. You will act. You will live. And you will control your life or lead your life, direct your life according to the pattern that I'm showing unto you. And that pattern is Jesus Christ. And thank God his grace is sufficient for us. How will Christ tell us to do something he knows to be impossible? How will Christ tell us, command us to do something he knows is, even with all the strength of heaven, with all the power of the spirit of God, he knows it's impossible, and yet he tells us to do that. What leader, a good leader, what good leader will tell somebody to do, a follower to do what he knows he cannot do, we can do it. Or the grace of God in us, or the strength of the power of the Holy Ghost within us, we can do whatever Jesus commands us to do. And it says, this is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. We're looking at John chapter 17. I'm reading verse 14, John 17 verse 14. I have given them thy word, and the world has hated them, because they are not of the world. The next words again. Even as I. See that. See what Jesus Christ is emphasizing. Every time he says this about himself, and then that same thing about himself, then he said, even as I. Which means that never take your eyes away from the pattern. Christ is a divine pattern. And the Lord, the Almighty God has shown him to us and he's saying, you want to live a life pleasing unto the Father? You want to live a life that God himself will approve of? Here is the pattern. Walk and live according to that pattern. It said they are not of the world, even as I'm not of the world. Verse 16. They are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. We're looking at Romans chapter 8, verse 29. Romans chapter 8, verse 29. The features of that new life in Christ. Romans chapter 8, verse 29. For whom he did foreknow, he also did predestinate to be conformed to whose image? The image of the Son. To be conformed. Not to be conformed to the world. Not to be conformed to religious societies in the world. But to be conformed to the image of his Son. And then he says in that same verse 29. That he might be the firstborn among many brethren. Colossians chapter 2 verse 6. Colossians chapter 2 verse 6, here it says, As ye have therefore received Christ Jesus the Lord, so walk ye in him. I believe it's possible. Moment by moment, day by day, with the grace of God, or the strength of the Lord, or the power of the Holy Ghost within us, looking unto Jesus the you have received the message from our pastor, Pastor W.F. Kumoye, the General Superintendent of the Palais Bible Church. It is my wish that as you listen, you will accept the old world and you will let them sink into the, your hearts. And by the grace of the Lord, you will never regret it. It is my prayer that by next week, when our, our pastor shall come up again to present another message, you will be there, your family will be there, and your friends and i believe as you are listening to the message every week by the grace of the lord you will never be the same let us pray our dear heavenly father we thank you O lord because of today's message we thank you O lord because of the one you let us listen to last week and the one we are going to listen to the next week by the power in the blood of jesus christ if you tarry we shall listen together once again next week and if not every one of us will be there with you in the kingdom of God in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, because you are the Lord that answer prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.